Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fan RC, back here again with another video. As I always say, short but informative. All right? Here we go. Okay, let me show you. You can see that's my uh, Creighton, right? My armor. Creighton, it is. All right? So what I'm doing right now. Okay. First, let me say before I start, I want to say a big shout out, a big respect, and a big thank you to all my supporters. Thank you for supporting me, supporting my channel. Please keep on doing so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So um, here I'm about to uh, do some work on my uh, Creighton. I say, you know what? Let me go ahead and make a video. Why not? And throw it out there so you guys can see. So you guys can see what I'm up to. Uh, and... Uh, where I'm at with my uh, Creighton, okay? <clears throat> so again, I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers. Much love and respect and thank you. Okay, so get my little water and drink some water. Anyway, um, what I'm doing now, okay. You can see over here, see my, my motor and my fan is out, right? The reason for that now, I had Originally, oh, you know what? I sh uh, I'm gonna make a, uh, a correction in this video. I think I dropped like maybe two videos there. So, the last two videos, I think, with my Creighton. Um, and I said the gear I'm running, well, then I was running 46, 30, 30, 46. But my mistake is not the original gear that came with the, the Creighton, it is. It's not 46, it's 47. I know why I was thinking it was 46, but my bad. Just wanna make that correction and put it up there, okay? Um, so the original gear, uh, spur gear that comes with this, uh, well, the spur gear, the center diff gear that comes with the, um, the Creighton, it is, is uh, 47. I was saying it's 46, but correction, not 46, 47. So anyway. So before I was running the stock spur gear or center diff gear, this is a uh, 47, and I was running, you can see, um, 30. Let's see, you can see good? Oh, okay. So that's 30. Uh, pin in. So I was running 47, 30, but I upgrade to 40. Can you see that? Okay, so let me do a comparison and show you the different, the size comparison of the 40 and the 30. See that? I was thinking that the 40 wouldn't be that bigger, but it is, I mean, it's the mod one, both mod one, but it's just a size difference. I'm like, wow. So anyway, what I'm doing now the original mount, motor mount that I built. All right. Okay. This was a billet for the 30. Okay. But now it won't work for the 40. So I need to build an, uh, another one. All right. I mean, the center bore here is perfect. See? There's no problem. It's just that the screws, because I have to pull the gear out, I have to pull the gear out further, more away from the motor, because that bigger, see, let me show you. So now, see, I gotta build a different uh, motor mount. So anyway, but I'm gonna do that. I was supposed to go to the, um, <clears throat> The metal shop today but I get caught up doing other things so I forgot so I, I pick up one I pick up some uh, aluminum uh, Monday I do have aluminum see let me show you <clears throat> see this aluminum this is the same thing this came from this see same thickness right but the thing is that I have to cut this and it's pretty hard to cut you see how thick the thing is 
I think it's like half inch thick. Well, almost, not quite, but thick. So when I have to cut this, it took, it, it take a lot to cut it. So I just don't want to go through all that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the, uh, the hobby shop. <clears throat> I got my measurements already. See, you can see, I've got my measurement for this, right? So basically I'm looking for, um, I want, um, I'm gonna get two pieces just in case I've messed up one. So the length is uh, two and a half inch by this way, coming the length, right? So I don't know if you can see good, but the length from here to here. So I'm gonna get two and a half by, and then I bring this with me to get the thickness. They can do the measurement to the shop and get a thickness, right? Well, actually, not this. I'm sorry, not this. Because I want, uh, this one that I built before was thicker. Mine is thicker. You can see. All right. So the next one I'm gonna build now. I'm gonna build it precise to this. All right. And uh, the thing I showed before. Let me show you again. This thickness right here is precise. This thickness. You understand it's precise thickness all right so my bad it wasn't this one this is thicker than this this is thicker than this so it was these this is the same thickness as you can see all right so what i'm saying i'm going to go to the hobby shop monday and get the measurement as i said the measurement is two and a half inch long and uh this same thickness Okay, long two and a half inches, and uh, the same, uh, I would say. So this is will be the width, right? And this will be the, the length. It depends how you look at it. So this same thickness, and this same thickness, but two and a half inch. Okay, so it gotta be uh, bigger to accommodate the bigger, uh, the bigger uh, 40 inch, I mean 40 T gear all right so anyway that's what i'm gonna do but right now this is not what i'm doing i just want to show you guys what i'm doing at this moment so the curtain is good good to go it's just that i have to build this mount and uh get a new mount to accommodate my 40t gear so so once i uh build the uh the mount the motor mount i'm going to be running 47 the original stock uh spur or sensitive gear so it's 47T, and the one I bought, the new one, as I said before, is 40T. You understand? Can you see good? Okay, so I'm gonna run in 47, 40. And I think that gear should be torque enough and also give me some good tapping speed. Because with the gears, as you guys know, like the hardcore RC guys, you know that if you try to, if you try to get uh, tapping speed, from your RC, special, special electric uh, RC. You know, when you have uh, the gears, they are close. If you have the same gear, whether the uh, 40, 40, 40, 39, 39, or whatever it is, when you have the same gears, it generate more speed, more tapping speed. The only thing though, when you have the same gear, yes, you get more speed, tapping speed. It may be not the greatest torque because torque is a large pinion or large ascended pinion or center diff gear same well same thing so pinion or center diff gear when you have a larger one versus a smaller uh pinion gear so diff gear should be larger or spur gears should be larger than the pinion gear that's when it generate more torque low in torque but for speed wise the gears got to be close in t or the same, like 39, 39, 40, 40, or whatever. You know, you can run like, uh, like this case now, I said now, this is gonna be a, a 47, 40. So I should get some good tap and speed and also good uh, low torque uh, takeoff power, you know? So I think that when I change this gear, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be a wrap. Because I'm a person like this. Normally, when I find the gear I'm looking for, I don't change the gear. I don't like some people. They keep on changing the gears and stuff. Now, once I get the gear I'm looking for, I set it and forget it. 
So I think this is going to go great for me. So I just wish that this, though, I was trying to get the, the D-bore cut, but it's not D-bore. But I wish I was a, 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 a D-bore. You know what D-bore is. All you guys, you know what D-bore. Because this, um, my Arbor wing, 800 kV motor right here is a D-cut. So I want to get the D-bore to just go perfect with D-cut. But it's not. So anyway, so it's going to be like that. All right. Tighten it up. All right. So let me say it one more time and that's it. So once I'm done with the motor mount, my gear is going to be, my gears are 47 stock Creighton gear and, uh, and 40 pinion gear. So 47, 40. I think that will be good enough for me. So anyway. What I'm doing right now is this. Uh, the last time I drove this car, I still have rocks in it. I'm still in fine. I'm still finding rocks falling out of places that I even know rock, rocks will go. So what I'm going to do, another thing, my guys, I'm going to show you is this. But this is not what I want to share. I want to share about these, but let me show you. The next thing I'm going to do in this car is. Okay, I took this off. This is the rock guard or the protective guard or whatever you call it, but it's a guard. All right. Once I put that on, right, like that. Once I finish and I put it on, what I'm gonna do now? To, as I said, the last time I drove this truck, and I post that video on my my channel too. The last one of this, it picked up all a ton of rock. I didn't realize. Even I, as I said before, I was still, I'm I, there's still rocks there, little rocks, little pebbles, little rocks all over. So what I'm going to do to eliminate, eliminate some of those rocks coming in is I'm going to put a, I'm going to build a, another um, right here. Um, the protective barrier, uh, the rock guard or whatever you want to call it, right here. So I'm going to come this good. Um, all right, maybe I just replace this old thing. But no, I think I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this. But I'm going to build a piece right here that goes in right here. So this is like pretty much three inches right here. This, see, three inches. So for the back now, I'm going to make it taller. I'm going to make it more than three inches. So I'm going to make it like this. Let me make sure you guys can see me good. Uh, yes. So I'm going to do it now. I'm going to curve it like this. So I'm going to start at three. And then I'm going to go up like this. Up in here. So it's going to be. Okay, let me get a tape made so maybe you can, guys can follow me better. Okay, so what I'm saying now, like this. This is three inches. Let me double check. This should be, yep, three inches tall. So what I'm going to do now, when I build my now, aluminum, of course, I'm going to bring it up here. So it's going to just curve up right there. Curve and go up. Yeah, curve and go up. And you know what? Let me show you. You can see, uh, like, just like that. That follows the body line right here. Okay, now the body line goes in like this. So this is going to curve and follow the body line, all right? But it's going to be on top like this. So what that does is a barrier just like this to keep out rocks and all kind of crap that come in your car when you run it, you know? So anyway, that's another thing I'm going to do. And that's not a big deal. I'll just get the aluminum. Um, I'm, I'm going to get that when I go to uh, my metal shop. So anyway, what I want to show you guys, what I'm going to do right now is this. I've seen a lot of videos of this online, but I haven't seen a lot of people using these, the boots. I'm not sure which I got two sets. I got the red, the black, and the red. I've been got this a long time. I use this on my Rampage MT, and uh, yeah. So one is bigger. The red one is bigger, as you can see. The red one is bigger, right? Longer or taller. And uh, also just wider, see? This almost can go in it. So the red one is bigger. So I'm not sure which one I'm gonna fit snug. Because when I bought them, I bought the, they said that the red one was better and it fit the Rampage, it would fit the Rampage, no. But actually, the black one fit the Rampage better. All right? So I'm gonna see which one gonna go well with this. So you know what, normally I don't do video like this, where like a uh, build video or, um, fixing something i'm making something or putting something together normally I don't do that normally I just get it done and present it uh, on my channel 
So I'm gonna do this for the first time. So what I'm gonna do is just pull this right here. And uh, the back one though only can have one boot, the axle boot up here. Let me make sure you can see what I'm pointing up here. You know, up here, right up there. And this, the front one now, let me see if we can see the front. Yeah, you can see. The front one can take uh, oh, also the same one. So, yeah, it's not like the, the Rampage or other trucks. I'm not sure about the, no, it's not. I was going to say the X-Max, but no, the X-Max kind of set up similar to this one. But the Rampage, Rampage can put on both ends. The Rampage MT and other trucks do. All right, so let me do this then. So the boot can fit only on one, the end in the back, up here and here, all the way around. Because down here, no. Down here is a different design, different. So let me do this, guys. So pull this out, the screw. All right. All right, and then just get this out of the way if I can. Okay, let me just, okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, that worked. And then, simple. I should have my, uh, you know what? Uh, it's a little bit small, but yeah, that should work. I'll lift it up. See, I still have stuff in my, uh, I'm running the other day. Dust and rocks, okay, so whenever I run my cars, I always try to clean them out to the best Best on my ability, but even though I clean this the last time I run it and I have this blower that I blow the system, there was still rocks that was hidden that I, I couldn't see, I didn't see. And when I put it on the table and I was taking this thing apart here, the motor, rocks just, there was little rocks all over it. So let me take this off and show you guys. Give me a second. I'm not gonna pause it. So. All right, so let me see if I can turn some lights on. All right, there you go. See, so you can see it's dirty. You can see dirt all up in here and up in here from the last time. So I'm trying to wipe it off. But anyway, so the, ac the, the boot now, the axle boot can just go over here. Hold on, let me, I'm not really good at holding the camera and videotape at the same time because I I tend to uh, mess it up. Okay, so I just want to give you an idea. Wait, hold on. I'm just trying to put it on, guys. I can see this is not the way it go it go on, but I just I just want to see for myself. Uh, I tell you, I'm not really good at holding this camera and doing this. I just want to give you an idea how it. Just kind of look at it if I can get it on. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I guess I'm just making it look difficult. Okay, all right. So that's how it looks. It's gonna look like that. So imagine the um, imagine the axle coming out of it from this end. Oh, sorry. See. I tell you, I'm, uh, I'm no good at only camera. So imagine an axle coming out, all right? So it look like that. So what it does, you know what it does, guys. It just prevents a lot of uh, dirt and stuff getting up in your uh, in your cup right here, okay? There's a lot of dirt and stuff getting in your cup, all right? So I'm going to clean the cup out, clean it out real good, before I put the boots on. Because this is a red one. Let me try the red one. See? The red one going, but it's loose. See that? This is a red one. It goes on, but they're, they're loose. See that? See? You can just put it on like that. I don't want that. All right? Those are like maybe for some uh, raminator or something like that. Something huge. But when I bought them, they're selling for fifth scale, but what kind of fifth scale? But if you can see, this one, the black one, 
you have to kind of force it on a little bit. It's not, it's not that, it's not tight. It's because I have my one end, but it goes on pretty easy when you have two ends. You understand? You see the way it was. All right, so let me put it on and uh, you guys can follow me, okay? All right, let me pause for a second. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm trying to, you know, cut this video and not make it so long. So I have to really do this on the screen. But anyway, I was looking at this thing here. I was looking at this uh, axle right here. And you know, some of these axle, they come with a, I forgot what you call it, the, the little lock, the little key we can, uh, is the, the, what do you call it, the bolt, whatever. You know, that key where you can turn it from top or from the side, or most of them from the top where you can, so you can take this piece out or adjust this piece when I take it out now but this one don't I must tell you that the armor the axle don't have the little uh, the screw there where you can take out to take this uh, this piece out they don't this is just a uh, compressing you come they compress this in and it stays in yeah I'm looking but you don't have it so because if I take this out and if I was able to just take the screw out and take this out then it's easy for me to slide this over but now I just gotta do the best I can to get over it without ripping it. And just stretch it out a little bit, which I don't like doing this because, you know, sometimes they wind up getting ripped, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I wish it had though. Let me see how I can put it on without ripping this thing up. Well, we got one side already. It's a good thing this is, uh, this rubber is very st st sturdy and, oh, there it goes, I get it. Wow, wow, that's awesome. And I didn't rip it, it's amazing. Okay, so, all right, so, I did not rip it. Huh, cool. I did not rip it at all. That's good. I'm just trying to take the lip out. You know, that pointy part right here. I want to get it out. It's kind of curved under. So if I can get it up without damaging it. Oh, there it is. Oh, sweet. Okay. It's out now. All right. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to put it back. Okay, you know what? Let me get my cameraman, man, my daughter, so she can assist me. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back now. My cameraman is here. My daughter, she helped me out. Uh, so, all right, so basically, now, you see the axle boot? Fit, fit perfectly. I don't have the, wow, it's been a while since I bought these. I bought this maybe like, wow, maybe, maybe a year and a half, two years, maybe two years ago or more. So I don't have the part number in it, but it's, you know, fifth scale, just go fifth scale axle boot. You will see them, all right? As I said, I have the red one, but the red one, as you can see before, oh, come on a little bit more. Okay, as you can see, the red one is bigger. You understand? It's bigger, it's wider, it's longer, it's just bigger, okay? So this now, I don't know, it's, let's follow my hands. This could be for maybe the Raminator or something like that. But even the holes, see the hole, the difference in the hole? It's bigger. All right? All right, guys, my hands are a little bit dirty. Forgive my hands because I uh, still have all kind of dirt in this uh, truck here from running the last time. All right, so the axle boot is on there. See that? That's the way it's supposed to be. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're gonna put it in now. Let me turn it. Okay. All right. And then follow me. And then I'm gonna put this back on now. You have a control arm. 
right, it goes in the bottom here with my, where did I get it? Oh, okay, my, uh, the nut just jump out. Let me find it, hold on. Okay, here it is. So my nut that came here just it jumped out here, so let me get it back in there, that's it. And then I tighten it up. And my hands are dirty, guys, from this truck. There's a lot of dirt in this truck. It may look clean in camera, but it's actually has some dirt in it. Uh, I'm going to put it out. One of these, I'm going to put it out in the back and wash it out with some water. But, guys, when you wash your car, though, you got to be careful. Just care for electronics. You know, if they're not waterproof, just, um, you know, wrap them in plastic or something like that. And they can wash your car out. All right, so that's that. And then the boot down here, baby. Then I'm gonna put a boot now with my two ends. See how easy it is with my two ends? All right, and that's it. So that's it, guys. All right, so that's the axle boot on the Armour Creighton ATIS. Okay, so I'm not gonna do all four because, as I said, it's on the rear here, here, and for the front, the same place for the front because the back here is different. You can see the back, you can see the dirt in there too. That one, you can't put no boot in it. Unless Armour have something special designed for that. I, I'm not sure. I will check the web later and see. All right. And if they do have one special for that, guys, let me know. All right. But I, I'm not sure. But for that one, you see the way it look. All right. So the, the, the next three, I would just do that. The next three, I'll just do it off camera. All right, guys. So... That's where I'm at with my uh, Creighton. And you know, you've seen a Creighton run uh, a few days ago. The Creighton is ready to go. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that um, I'm just changing. I'm going to build a new motor. See, the motor is out. <clears throat> See? All right. So because, as I said before, I'm changing to a, a bigger gear from the from the 30, I'm going to a uh, 40, and if you can see it here, see? All right, so I gotta build a new modem out. And as I said before, most likely when I'm finished, that's gonna be it. It's gonna be running th uh, 47, 47, 40. That's my gear ratio, and that's it. That should give me some good tapping speed and some good torque. All right. So, guys, that's what I'm doing. And I will see you in the next video. This is your boy, FamRC, saying, if you come across this video, my channel, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also click the bell. And when you click the bell, click all, the option all. So whatever content, whatever video drop, you will get it. You'll be notified. And when you do get notified to my videos, please just watch it. Give me a like, you know. You like, you don't like, give me a comment, whatever. Just give me some strength. Give me some support, okay? All right, guys. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Fang RC saying, peace out.